And off with the stocks yet again. We are back to aftermarket. Thank God it is hard riding grandpa sometimes. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us today, especially if you're new. And sorry to the Beauty Tribe ladies, this is a video about trucks, so I do apologize. Today we are taking a look at my new wheels for my truck. I'm freaking jacked. I've been stoked for getting these for quite a while now. As some of you know, I was riding on chrome wheels before. I had 20 by 12 TIS 544s, and they were negative uh, 44 offset. And I was running two inch wheel spacers on top of that. So like a 14 wide basically. I ran those for about a year. I did have to cut my bumper leveling kit on the truck just to make them ride. And they still rode kind of rough and super hard to turn. Not very practical. Grew to hate them over time honestly. And uh, couldn't wait to get rid of them. So uh, sorry to those of you that love that setup. I did enjoy it. It was great for pitchers. They looked awesome. Um, they were super clean. I took good care of them and I cleaned them all the time. Ask Tori. I cleaned them probably three days a week. But anyways, it was time to upgrade. So we went with something new. I'm really excited to show you guys. I did order them through Custom Offsets. A uh, very reputable supplier. Those guys are awesome. They mount and balance, free shipping, etc. Uh, this will be the second set of wheels I've ordered from them now just because I was so thrilled with them the first go. Delivered right to the house. It was perfect. They offloaded them, set them in my garage for me. I could just throw them on and start driving so it was perfect. Let's take a look at the setup I went with. I didn't get a chance to film the whole process because we were low on time. It was late, uh, rushing to get things done, but me and Asher did get them done. He's been a great help. He had fun using the torque wrench and everything else, uh, putting the lug nuts, unwrapping them. So anyways, let's go show them, buddy. Let's go take a look. It did snow here in Illinois last night, so the snow is just going to make for great scenery, especially when I show you the drone clips. So, well, this is them, guys. What do you think of these? These are the hostile wheels I went with. They're 22 by 10s, negative 25 offset, I believe. Uh, 8 by 180 lug pattern on the 2015 and a half Duramax LML. No spacers this time. Did go kind of a cheaper tire on this one. This is an a Turo Trailblazer XT, whatever the heck that is. Did try to save a little bit of money on the tires. I was trying to do this project pretty budget friendly. I am trying to save money for something cool for the channel. So in honesty, we didn't save any money on these wheels compared to the other ones because the other ones were 20s. These are 22s. Um, so they were about the same. It was a wash, but these I can run year round instead of taking them off in the winter time like I had to do the chrome ones and then put those stock ones back on. It's like, why would you ride those things in the winter? That's when you need an aggressive tire the most. So uh, yeah, much better choice here rocking these. I am just thrilled with the setup. I think the stance is just perfect. I think with these big HD trucks, uh, 22s are the way to go. They really help stand out a lot more than the 20s did. The 20s were too small. But anyways, what do you guys think? I think they look absolutely perfect. I am just stoked on the setup. But anyways, I do have the drone footage from last summer when I had the chrome ones on. And I'll roll a cool little montage um, comparing the two between these new ones and the old ones. And you tell me which ones you guys like better. So let's get to the drone in one, two, three, go. Daddy with the wheels? We just put them on, that was fun. Point to them, show them. And, ta-da, look at those. Look at them high styles. 22, finally. So nice, really fits the truck a lot more. I hope you guys enjoyed that drone footage. That was sick, wasn't it? I uh, just want to give you a little side profile view here of how much they stick out. The other one stuck out way further. Uh, this one's more of a 33 inch tire. The other one was uh, about 31.8 inches, I believe. So it was a lot smaller. Um, it did stretch a little bit because they were 12 and a half before. 
um, with a ridge grappler. These are these are 12s on a 10, so they do stick over the wheel a little bit better. Price-wise, they were relatively the same, right around the $3,000 mark, I think, is where they came in at after taxes and all that. So not too bad. I think if you want any bigger, like 24s, 26s, or 14 wides, or 16 wides, or something crazy, you'd probably want a lift kit on the truck, I would think. Otherwise, you're going to have a heck of a rub going on. I think this is about the biggest I want to go. I really enjoy having a full turn and radius. Again, I sure as heck missed that on my last setup. So we'll ride this for a while and see, um, see what I think of them. Maybe I can do a follow-up video or something like that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, stick around to the channel too. I try to hop on here and do some fun things. So I think that's it for now. Drop any comments or concerns below, and we'll catch you guys soon. All right, peace. We got boxes, we got tools, we got everything out here. It's dark out and we're doing our thing. And it's raining, it's raining.